Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is JR, and you have tuned into the Hustlers Apprentice channel. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. And if you're watching this video on Facebook, make sure you guys click that link in the description to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, let's get right into it. How to get pre-screen and pre-approved offers for credit cards and loans. This is your first one stop shop here. You guys may have received emails or phone calls or even mail. At your house or location where you're staying that gives you offers for credit cards, loans and other things like that. And a lot of times you think that is junk mail or trash. And the reason why this happens is because you have been opted in. Some of you may have never received any at all. But the reason why that is, is because you never opted in. So you're completely opted out. The way to do that, to start getting those promotional offers. And also another thing is if you're going to use the shopping cart trick, which is a completely different video altogether, you're going to need to opt in on here. So just let's just get right into it. What happens is it goes to all of the credit bureaus or the three major credit bureaus and in Novus, which is a secondary credit bureau as well. And it pushes your information out when you do opt in. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. So it's going to ask for your name, your address, social security number and date of birth. You want to you want to use even though you can use a P.O. box, if you have a physical address, it'll be better because a lot of times when you're applying for credit, they are they will require a physical address. So. It says once you click submit, you'll be prompted to enter your personal information. You have 15 minutes to complete this request or complete your request. So the first one, which is what we're going to do is opt in. This is for all firm offers of credit or insurance. You can also, if whenever you want, or if you have been receiving offers and you want to stop them, you can opt out for five years and that'll take you off of, uh, out of the system completely where the credit bureaus aren't quote unquote, selling your information to third parties to give you these offers, or you can permanently opt out by mail. Your name will no longer be eligible for inclusion on the list for firm offers of credit or insurance. So that's another option right there. So anyway, let me give you an example. Opt in. This is the process is really quick. It takes like seconds. You know, a lot of a lot of you guys, your information is already pre filled in your computer or phone. So it'll just pop up on here. Name, social security number, date of birth, address. This is the address. Like I said, this is the address where you receive most of your mail. And this is the address that you're going to use to apply for credit in the future. You don't want to have a dip. You don't want to be applying for credit with different addresses, because a lot of times with some creditors, you may get denied if you have a different address. Not seeing all of them, but it's a lot of times if it doesn't match up as far as the shopping cart trick and pre-approval and pre-qualification. So the whole security code, you put that in, you hit confirm. What's going to happen when you hit confirm? Is that it's going to tell you it could take up to five days for your information to circulate throughout the credit bureaus. And usually after those five days, if your credit score is within a certain range, you'll start receiving emails. You may you know, usually I don't receive phone calls, but you may receive phone calls. You'll start receiving um, all of those different offers that's that they'll be you know soliciting or just saying hey you've been pre-approved for five thousand dollars you've been approved for this credit card so on and so forth but just know that and if you've been watching my other videos you'll know what you need to put on the application a lot of times when it's asking for your income you know where you've lived at i mean how long you've lived at an address so on and so forth because a lot of these can be automatic disqualifiers based upon the algorithm that many of these uh, applications have. So just keep that in mind as well. So they have a, a few different frequently asked questions on here. You can go down the line before if you want to review it. I'm not going to review it on this video per se. So just some information for you. And you guys can check it out. So it is legit. It does work. This is one of your rights as a consumer that you're able to do this. And uh, I've gotten several offers 
And I know people that have opted in. They've gotten several offers as well. And it's a must if you're going to do the shopping cart trick once once again. And if you guys are not familiar with the shopping cart trick, it's basically where you've already opted in and your credit score is pretty much irrelevant as far as getting approved for certain department store cards and certain Visa MasterCards. And there's a list, you know, on on the Internet. You can Google it and how to do the shopping cart trick or go on YouTube or, you know, you guys can wait. I'll do a video here shortly, but it's a very easy process. So with that being said, I don't want to talk any further and waste up your time. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you feel like this video has been helpful, I would invite you to hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. If you feel like this video will be a benefit to someone else, please feel free to share it. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in and I will talk to you soon. Peace.